What up, slots? This is Taylor, and if you enjoy this video, feel free to rate the shit out of it. And uh, I should tell you real quickly that the gameplay is way too good to be mine. It is my buddy Quinn's, so check his channel out in the description. And uh, now, onto the story, but a little bit of a prerequisite to it. I'm not sure if Kidoba is a restaurant anywhere but the United States, and even then, I'm not sure it's in every state, but it's essentially a Chipotle, and uh, even if you, don't, if you don't have those in your country, basically, you all know what Subway is. It's where you go, and you kind of make your sandwich as you go when you look through the glass, and the people on the other side are kind of looking down with dismay at the sandwich, like, oh my god, what has my life become? And then they make it for you, and then it gets to the end, and then you get it. Uh, it's essentially that, except instead of uh, subs, you make a burrito or a quesadilla or something along those lines, something, some Mexican food. And so I'm there, I go in, and I am a huge fan of this place. I look forward to it every time that I go. Uh, this particular brand was Qdoba, uh, this restaurant name rather. And so I went in, line was pretty long. I'm like, all right, doesn't matter. It may take a little while, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forge ahead. I'm going to make sure it works out. So Immediately I get in line. Unfortunately for me, I vastly overestimated the speed with which these people would do their job and make the fucking burritos because they were going so slow you would think that uh, there was like a Nazi standing behind them with a gun pressed up, up against their temple like, as soon as you finish this burrito, we will kill you. And so they're like working as slow as possible and I'm, I apologize to all the Germans who are watching for that accent. But uh, anyway, so I'm in line, it's taken forever, I look forward and a woman and a man are working diligently, doing their jobs without any complaint and then another uh, man and woman are behind them, just kind of looking lazily at the chicken while it's cooking. It's like, I know, you know, the, the cook guy, he has to be back there, he's making all the chicken, he's making the steak and whatnot, but you two, you're just watching it cook. You're just like waiting on him to provide an order. No, fuck that. Get off your asses, come up to the front and start serving people burritos. That's what you're paid for, please. I would appreciate that very much. Just a little bit of reciprocity here on the customer, uh, you know, server relationship that we're having going right now. I'm paying money. A little bit of service would be awesome. So I finally get up there, tell them to make my burrito, steak and chicken burrito, um, on a flour tortilla, no beans, because the, if you know anything about these places, they always are very eager to ask you about beans. You'll notice that. The first thing they do is, what kind of beans do you want? No. Screw that. If you're a smart human being, you don't get beans, because guess what? Inside the confines of that flour tortilla, there is very little real estate that I'm willing to not be taken up by queso or cheese or salsa or meat. And anything that is not one of those things that is taking up space in there had better be freaking delicious. And beans do not make, make the cutoff for me. They simply don't. And so every time they ask for beans, I almost want to be like, hell no, man. I want more meat in there. Because you know what they're saying is, hey, how much of this space filler do you want in your burrito that you're going to pay nine bucks for? So I always say, no beans. Screw that. Get on over there. Lady asks me for what kind of steak or what kind of chicken. I'm like, give me both. She asks, uh, do you want half and half or do you want full portion? And I'm like, I want full portion because I know at the time this lady I'm talking to, not the same lady that's going to check me out. So guess what, mofos, I'm going to get the double meat and then in a few seconds I'm going to be able to pay for the single meat because she doesn't, she doesn't know. She's not going to take the time to mark it with a marker or anything. I'm just going to get a little bit of free meat for my trouble. I think that's totally fair. And uh, if there is one time that I have to admit where I am a total sexist, it's when I'm in line at Kidoba because I want to make sure that there have been times I'm not going to not going to fabricate this part of the story for you guys. There have been times, actual times, not this juncture, but other times, where I let someone go ahead of me in line at Kidoba because I saw that I would be served by a man making my burrito instead of a woman because you always get way more meat from the man. Like when, when there's a woman up there and she's scooping it, all my experiences led me to believe that when you say, I want double meat, they just take it up and then they have a big heaping spoonful of delicious, savory looking chunks of meat, like almost like a dog food commercial. And then instead of just dumping it on there, they like give it a little wrist shake. They leave it a little wrist shake and all little, bit, little bits fall off. I'm like, what the hell? What are you doing, bitch? I just paid for that meat, and you're shaking it off. You're teasing me, tantalizing me with the potential for that big heaping serving of meat to be in my stomach shortly, and yet you shake it back off into the bin, even though I've already told you that I want double meat. And so I usually will wait and try and get a man, because when a man's up there, he's like, all right, this guy's asking for double meat. He's a hungry, he's a hungry bastard, really just wanted to get a big you know, brick of food from this burrito shack. And so he'll just take a few big scoops, and sometimes he'll even give you that eyebrow movement look where he's like, you know, gives you the little bit of a movement, not nothing else with his face is kind of like, a, uh, yeah, I know, I know what we're doing right now. You're going to go home and eat this and have a terrible shit later. And I kind of give him the look of, don't judge me, just make the damn burrito. And then he gives me a little bit, like maybe even that big spoonful and then like three or four more cubes of beef afterward. Mm, thank you, sir. Uh, but this time, no, had a woman who was making it, but she did, a, she did much better than most women. Uh, she gave me a good amount of meat. 
and uh, to the next station. That's where they give you your salsa and whatnot. And the lady gave me the salsa that I asked for without a problem. And then she moved it over again and was like, you want cheese and sour cream? And I've told this before, but on a scale of like zero to the Holocaust, I hate sour cream as much as I hate Hayden Christensen. I hope that really articulated uh, clearly to you guys. I hate it that much. I hate it like three ticks past the Holocaust. Sour cream for me is terrible. It cools down the burrito. It takes up valuable real estate that could be taken up by queso or something more delicious. It's just not good. It's just not a good flavor. And the way they put it in there, you don't get a nice even spreading of sour cream. Not to say that any amount of it could ever be nice in my opinion. You just get one fat mouthful of just puffy nastiness that you're like, oh my god, did did the, the, the fucking Michelin man just jack off in my mouth? This is disgusting. And so I, I, I just said, no, please, I would like cheese, no sour cream. And I can remember it because you always kind of speak quietly because there are a lot of people around, but I said it more loudly than I should have. I said, cheese and no sour cream. I was very, very clear because I hate it so much, so much that it's making me angry right now to think about it. And what does this lady do? She looks down as if she didn't even listen to me, and she skips the cheese, reaches in, takes out a fat dollop of sour cream, and slaps it on my burrito. And so now, I, I look at her, and I'm like, no, 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 I, I said no sour cream, I said no sour cream. And, she, and then she looked up at me like I was giving her a chore. Like, I was like, oh, this guy's gonna make a scene now. And of course, I didn't want to make a scene. There were people behind me. You know, I, I'm, I am gonna be paying a lot of money for a burrito, and so I kind of deserve to, I don't know, eat what I paid for, but I didn't want to make a big scene. And, so, and she was like, do you just want me to scream? scrape it off, and I was like, yeah, yeah, just scrape it off, so she takes one of the salsa containers and starts half-assed scraping it off, and just, it was, it was brutal, and you can't scrape it all off, it's not like she threw it on top of, like, a piece of bread where you can kind of wipe it off or something, it, she threw it on top of rice and meat and, and salsa, and it was just, there's no way, it, you cannot get it out of, out of there, it's like if a dog shits on your carpet, and then you take, like, a, a rolling pin and they just push it in there, no matter how much you clean, there's still gonna be shit in that carpet, you cannot get it out of there, so that was basically the scenario here, because that is the same level of disgust with which I look at sour cream. That and shit are pretty equally palatable to me. And so she does that, and she starts half-assed scraping it out, and I'm looking at, like to myself, like trying introspectively to be like, Taylor, settle down, man. Settle down. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. It's just a little sour cream. Never killed anyone. And, then, and of course, in my head, I'm like, what the hell, lady? What the hell? I couldn't have said it any louder. I said it so loud that the guy to my right, who's getting a burrito behind me, looked at me strangely. He's like, Jesus, what you wanted to say to me, are you allergic to sour cream or some shit? Because that's the only way he could possibly imagine someone getting that angry about the prospect of sour cream on their burrito. And so... Essentially, she scrapes the rest of it off. There's still some on there, and really, I'm not a superstitious guy at all. And so, I, and I've seen a lot of messed up s stuff on the internet. But they're, the only time that I consistently turn away from an action happening is when someone is rolling my burrito at a burrito store because I am always constantly imagining, like, no, 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 please don't rip it, please don't ruin it, please don't ruin my burrito. And I just didn't even want to see because when she was turning it around to start rolling it, I was going to get to see how much sour cream was left on there. And I'm like, no, Taylor, you don't want to see it. It's going to be too. It's going to be too much, man. It's going to be too much, idiot. I don't want to see. I don't want to see it. And so I just turned away, let her roll it, and then took it to go. And the burrito, actually pretty good. I got one mouthful, and I got a little bit of uh, sour cream in there. And it made me want to go hang myself in the bathroom, bathroom briefly. But I got over that pretty quickly as soon as I got a little bit more steak in my mouth. But uh, unfortunately, the person who rolled it, the same person who put the wrong goddamn sour cream on there, also neglected to mix it up, so I had like half rice, half steak and chicken, and the, the assorted rest. And so that's my Qdoba story. Don't really know why it was worth telling, but it was pretty aggravating, and I'm sure you trust me. Uh, so on that note, fuck sour cream, and I love you.